Hi guys, it's Tanaya. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here, what's up? So I'm going to be trying the Aztec clay mask on my natural hair. I'm just zooming for you guys. So like, this is my hair. I've basically washed my hair already and it's still damp and wet. So I just parted my hair in four sections and I just like to put clips on it just so it's easier to detangle. But yes, yeah, so let's get into this Aztec clay mask. So I took this bowl, here's the mask. Well, this is the clay basically and I use some apple cider vinegar. It has directions on the back and I found this stuff at what, vitamin shop? I think it was like $7 and change for this clay. And the apple cider, vin apple cider vinegar, you can find that anywhere. And you see like the instant reaction. I don't know what chemical reaction is going on here, but I was like scared. So as you can see, I'm just stirring it up, just trying to get a good consistency. I didn't do any measurements or whatever. I probably should have. And yes, I am stirring this with a plastic straw because I didn't have any plastic spoons or forks in my house. And I'm just like, oh my God. But you're basically um, not supposed to use like a metal bowl or metal utensils. I guess it really is going to take away the effectiveness of the mask. So I had to use whatever I could get. So, and it did the job. <laughs> All right, so once I was pretty much done staring it up, I had took a little brush that I usually use when I have to dye lace closures and stuff. It's like, let me just apply it with this. But at the end, I ended up using my hands because you could just get the product on your hair a lot better. Um, but I was really nervous putting this on my hair, you guys. If you could see my facial expressions, like I was just nervous the whole time because I'm like, Tanaya what in the heck are you doing girl like what are you doing right now but i just decided to take a risk and just do this because i did see this tutorial on youtube before and i was like oh the results came out bomb let me try it but it was just it's just so nerve-wracking i was so freaking nervous but definitely watch it until the end so you guys can see like what the results looked like and everything like that because i am going to give you the tea on what is going on Okay, so I left this on for like 20 minutes and it definitely got a little hard, a little stiff. And at this point, you see my face, like I'm like so scared. I'm like, what the heck did I do? I need to rinse this out. Oh my God, what is gonna happen to my hair? Oh my God, it's the craziest feeling ever, y'all. But then I rinsed it out and it came out fine. I put some conditioner in my hair and I was just like, woo! I was so glad to get this crap out my head, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. So I let the conditioner sit in my hair for maybe like another 20 minutes I think and then I rinsed it out and I noticed that like my curl pattern was like I had like more shrinkage than I normally did. My hair was like it was nice but what I noticed after I um, blow dried my hair my hair felt way more dry like this stuff is super drying when you actually go to dry your hair. So I would highly suggest putting an oil in your mixture when you're doing this with your hair because my hair was like so much more drier than it usually was after I blow dry my hair. But as you guys can see, I am doing a lymph check. If you've been with me since the first time I big chopped, my hair has grown so much. I'm almost one year fully natural. My one year anniversary is in March. But the one thing I did like about the mask is my scalp is a lot cleaner than usual. Like I have a lot of... Um, I have dry scalp and I get dandruff flakes pretty easily and my scalp is like bomb this week. So I definitely would recommend that you try it but make sure to include some type of oil, olive oil or coconut oil because it is very trying. But I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Give me some